How's it going guys? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to Space Engineers episode number five. And today we've got a couple of things we need to do. First thing we need to address is uh, that. That's a problem. That's bad. That's bad. How do I get back? How do I get back? Oh no. Oh no. I thought it was all cool. Doing. Oh no. Please. Please. Don't. Ah. How do I? Do I have a gun? No. Let's stop them. <laughs> stop meteors. Don't destroy my base. No. Oh my god! <laughs> we almost got destroyed! Oh my god, we're good. Well, that's a good... That's. A, I think, don't think anything hit us. That, that was the closest. That has to be the closest. Did it bring materials? Is that iron? Let me go, crouch down real quick. Is that iron? What are you? Oh my god, it brought iron! Well, okay. Blessing and a curse, I guess. Well, none of them hit us. One of them came darn close, which was that one right there, and another one hit somewhere close as well. Maybe that? I don't know. But uh, that's a good segue into what, what, what I was about to say. This episode I want to focus on first. I want to kind of enclose this area so that in the event of another meteor storm coming within literal feet of our base, uh, we, we won't have any problems because it'll all be closed in, so it, it, it won't be that bad. Um, so I want to enclose this area, and second, I want to actually focus on making a flight landing pad. And that's going to go into next episode, which will be episode number six, where we will probably go about creating a spaceship. Well, not a spaceship, more of, a, more of an Earth ship, since we're not really in space. Um, so, so look forward to that episode, but this episode we're going to focus on trying to build uh, all of our stuff indoors. And obviously, we haven't planned this out really well, have we? Because we can't have this stuff indoors. So what I might do is I might go ahead and move these uh, over there or something, just so that they're away from the main base. Because if we obviously have our main base right here, then these could get shadowed by our main base, and we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to move this stuff over to a different location. So let's click 4 to get out our standard piece, and we're going to... Um, we're just going to move it. We're going to go by with a 3-wide kind of uh, pathway. And it's just going to kind of go to a pad that we're going to have over here. So let's just move it. And obviously the bigger our base gets, the more risky it's going to be to have the base um, exist. Because the, the meteors will obviously come closer and closer to hitting it. So let's just keep going out a little bit. And like I said, that we don't have any risk of this stuff falling because of gravity. But to make it realistic, let's... Steel plates. Okay, let's go get more steel plates from our main base. I know we have plenty of them because we destroyed the ship. By the way, actually, um, I didn't really go into that, did I? We destroyed a lot of the ship off camera, so uh, let's just finish it up right here. Oh, that's a little bit glitchy while you're flying, I guess. But let's just finish up destroying the ship here so that you can all see it and it'll all be done. I didn't really want to do any more of it on camera but just because I figured it was getting a little bit boring just destroying the ship. So I did a lot of it. Alrighty, and well, let's see what happens if we destroy this landing gear. There it goes. Woo. That wasn't much, much ship to actually fall, but but uh, but it was a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and let's actually deposit this stuff we don't need, which will be this stuff. We have a little bit of iron as well, which we can throw in there. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and take this to our refinery and let it refine that when it wants to. How's our thing doing, by the way? Our nuclear reactor. We're completely out of uranium, so eventually uh, we're going to be completely out of power. And that's going to stop. Oh, that, that'll be really bad, actually. We're about to enter a really bad time. And that will be the time that we're completely out of power. So get ready for that, because it's going to be so much fun. And you're going to want to be there. Probably, I would imagine next episode that's going to happen. Or even this episode. Just depending on the rate at which our batteries are dying. Battery. Stored power. Current output. Yeah, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> In a second. We're going to have a big problem. All right, let's go ahead and destroy some of this. I mean, opposite of that, place some of this. And maybe I'll just place one line of it, and then I'll go ahead off camera and do the rest of it, because it might take a while to actually get all of this placed. And it's going to take quite a few light armor blocks, or quite a few steel plates as well. You know what? I want to put all this stuff in indoors, but I might have to actually postpone that and go look for uranium. Just because I'm thinking about it, and if we run out of power... I won't be able to respawn there anymore. And that'll be a huge problem if I die. 
so. Nor will I be able to get more power in my suit, which could also be a big problem. That might be what we do. We might just go ahead and go try and uh, try and find some uranium. Ooh, I almost fell off there. Already? Oh, uh, what are we doing here? We're making a little support so it looks more realistic. A little support there. We'll put one right here as well. Just so that, once again, it looks a bit more realistic. And then, uh, is that far enough, do you think? That might be far enough. All right, let's make the make the pad, the base kind of area. So let's go, we'll go one, two, three, and then we'll do one, two, three. Because I think one takes up three. Yeah, one takes up three, okay. One, two, or does it take up four? I don't know. All right, so we'll start with that, and then we'll do two, three. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we'll start with something like this. And so that should be able to house one, two, three, four solar panels, which will be good. And there's no need to wire, by the way. We don't need to wire solar panels back to our base, just because these kind of act as wiring already. So as long as the solar panel is connected to the base and the battery is connected to the base, everything will be fine. All right, so let's get these light armor blocks filled in. And then we'll go ahead and get those solar panels placed as well. We ran out of steel plates. Let's go and get some more. Hello, base. How are you doing? We're just back here for a couple more steel plates, and we'll be on our way. Have no fear. Alrighty. Just get some more of these filled out. And I do have plans, by the way, to uh, to increase this as well in the future. So we'll make this a little bit bigger and we'll have more solar panels so that hopefully we can have a big solar farm kind of thing. And that'll be our main source of power. But for now, I don't think we can build enough solar panels to outpower what uranium would give us. Also, it's a pain in the butt to try and power ships via solar panels, little ships at least. So, uh, so we'll be using uranium for that as well. All right, and almost there. Just a couple more to hit. Could you imagine if I had kept the the uh, the rate of building these at the same rate? Really, like 10 times slower than this? Could you imagine? That'd be so much slower. All right, looks like we can finally get our first second. Maybe we'll, we'll put four here, because I know we have enough materials for it. So let's press our solar panels. Here they are. Let's get, put one right Okay, I can't see it. Let's move a little bit. Unknown signal detected. Okay, as long as it's not a meteor shower, I'm fine with it. Oh, did I did I maybe Okay, we need more space for this. Let's put one more block out here. One, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Uno dos tres cuatro. How American did I sound when I said that? Quattro. Alrighty, there's one side, let's get the other side, and we'll be all set. Uno, dos, three, quatre. No, I couldn't get that one. <laughs> Still need a couple more steel plates. Let's just run back over here, grab some of those steel plates, thank you very much. And we'll also, let's go ahead and grab some, uh, some do I have solar components here? Am I just missing them? Let's grab some solar pit, uh, solar cells as well, because I know we're going to need those uh, for our solar panels. And might as well grab them um, so that we save ourselves a trip later. So let's go over here and let's get these placed. I'm going to step out of the way so I, I can place these properly. And we'll go this, 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 this. Awesome. And, oh no, dang it. It's sometimes a bit tricky to place these. All right. So this, 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 this. There's one. Okay. Dang, I have to do it again. This, 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 this. Come on, come on. There's two. Awesome. And let's get the... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's the wrong way. There we go. One. Can I get the second one right here? Two. Awesome. And let's go ahead and see if we can uh, build those. I don't think we have all the materials. Actually, I know we don't have all the materials. Um, but we have enough solar cells at least for that one. And enough for that one as well. So let's run back over here. And we're going to delete these. Alrighty. There's one. And we'll delete some of this one, I guess. Alrighty. And let's run back over here and see if we can place uh, these two down. So here's one. 
We should definitely be able to place all of one, because we destroyed all of one of the other ones. But we might have trouble with the second one here that we try to place. Alrighty, let's get this one here. We have all the solar cells, so we don't need any more solar cells. We need construction components, star steel tubes, and that's it. Alrighty, let's go and grab that stuff. Actually, let's just delete this first. There it is, and let's get some construction components and large steel tubes. Construction components, uh, we'll get a couple of those, and large steel tubes, we'll get, uh, yeah, a couple of those, I guess. And I don't know what else we need, because I didn't check the other ones. So let's just run back over there and place them. Computers, that's what we need. Alrighty, we need four computers total. That is how many we need. Let's go and get those. And this is all good, by the way, because this will allow us to uh, this will allow us to build up our area a little bit, so that we don't have to worry about keeping those solar panels outside as we would typically. Alrighty, there's ten, and we should be good. Here we go. Boom! Moment of truth. There's one, and there is two. Hooray! All right, now that we've got those both set up. Well, all four set up, actually. Oh, shoot. You are are, uh, are lacking a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and we'll try to do it while I'm flying. Construction components and large steel tubes. Really? I forgot to actually go and visit those when I was getting the stuff. All right. Now, fly back. And there we are. This one is now completely functional. Awesome. We got all four set up, and everything is going to be awesome. Assuming a meteor strike doesn't just smite them off of our base but for now everything is going to be good let's start building up our base a little bit so that we can so we can prob probably stave off a uh, an attack actually wait did we want to how much power do we have let me check let's do a quick little checky checky chew about our power here stored power that's going down rapidly and i don't really like it 500 and, and going down but it might be becoming daytime soon as well, so I don't know. I'm just grabbing more suit power so that if the power goes out, uh, we don't have much of a problem. How much did that take, actually? Let's check. Battery. It didn't take much. So I think we're honestly going to be fine. As long as daytime comes up and comes in clutch and those four solar panels uh, do their job, I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. So we'll let that happen. And we're going to have to definitely keep an eye on it as well. We could turn off the refinery so our power doesn't go down. In fact, that might be what we do. Let's go into our control panel to our refinery and just turn that toggle that off so that it stops using power. And then we'll we'll check again. Let's see how much power you're using. Okay. Using less. What's using power now? I don't know, but probably these lights and whatnot. Honestly. I don't know. Alrighty, so let's you know what? Let's go and find some uranium. How about that? Is that what we want to do? I'm conflicted. I'm wondering if we should go find some uranium right now, or if we should just go and build up our base right now. Maybe we want to build up our base. Um, how about we do a little bit of both? Let's start with building up our base. We'll have a door here. Uh, yeah, we'll have a door there. And let's let's actually build out one a little bit. So build out one like this, then we'll build up right there. We'll have a door right there. And let's build up here, up here, like that. And then we'll, yeah, okay. And that'll be a door, like I said. Oops. Let's go out one in the back. And we'll build up as well. So, like, up there, I'm thinking. And this is where our batteries are going to be, so we don't want to actually fill those in. So let's do about something like this. And build up to the same level as these guys are. Awesome. And then let's build back a little bit, because this, this is our room here for our, uh, for our nuclear reactor. And we're probably going to want to enclose this, honestly, just because if we don't, it, it might explode and cause problems. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to enclose it a little bit just so that we don't have to worry about it in the future. All right, there we go. And let's get the, uh, let's get the top enclosed as well. Now this is going to require quite a bit of, uh, of of soldering, so I think I might do that off camera, just because I know it's going to take probably like, honestly, it's probably going to take ten minutes real time of just straight soldering to to get this stuff done. 
So I don't want to subject you guys to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the base for all this stuff. And then we're going to go out and find some uranium, which might be a more adventurous task. And then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll have this all set up. All right, that's looking good. What we'll do as well is we'll, we'll build this up a little bit. So it's like a garage where we have our hydrogen tank. And hopefully when a meteor sees that, it's like, no, I don't want to strike that. I want to strike something less important, such as the ice. That's less important. Alrighty. Um, so it's not all completely indoor yet, but it's getting there. Let's place that, I guess. And we'll place one right here as well. Just for consistency's sake. And we're going to want to make this a room as well. So let's go ahead and, and place kind of like a floor for this. Well, uh, let, let's let's drill out some actually because we want to get a kind of ground going here. So we're going to drill out some of this so we don't have these weird plants coming up through our, our base and such. All right, so let's get that right there. Are we out of uh, are we out of stuff? Actually, I guess not. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good for a room. Let's go ahead and dig a little bit more here because we do still have a bit over here that we want gone. There we go. And you can actually create machines to dig for you, which is kind of cool. And I do like that about this game. Essentially, everything you do right now, you can create machines that will uh, that will do it at, on a larger scale. So there we go. That's going to be our room. Uh, let's get the walls in here. All right. And this 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 episode might be called the giant base expansion because that's basically what we're doing. We're just expanding our base and also enclosing it. So that's looking good, looking solid. Let's get that right there as well. And uh, and that's, yeah, that'll be good. All right, and what we're going to do as well is we're going to grab this. We're going to let that continue to be its own little room. Because that's how we, <laughs> that, that was how we used our, uh, our, whatever the thing's called, wherever it is. I don't know where we placed it. Maybe we deleted it, actually. The, uh, the ore detector, that's how we saw that. Alrighty, and almost there. Just get a couple blocks in here. And that might be good for now. Let's let's go out a little bit here and we will uh, we'll, we'll get the wall kind of situated here as well. Alrighty, that's looking good. Can we fit one right there? Yes, we can. Okay. And over here we can we get this wall set up as well. That's looking, uh, that's looking good. And it looks like daytime's starting to come. Let's actually go out to our solar panels to see if they're going to see any of this um, as shadowing. No, they're not. Not unless we build it super tall, which I don't really plan on building that quite tall uh, since we can always go out and down, right? All right, so that's looking pretty solid for a, uh, for a, for a base. We do want to create a little landing, not a hangar, not yet. We will create a hangar eventually, but for now, I think we only need kind of a station, kind of a little platform. So, and I think probably a good place to do that would be down there, or we could do it up above. But I don't want our ship to really be able to crash into our our, our place. So I think probably a good place would be to have maybe... Okay, so this is kind of the progression of the base. You're up there, you go down... All right, let me check our... Are we still good on hydrogen bottle? Okay. And then you can come over here... Uh, we'll maybe have this go out one more, so it's a two by two. That's not good. Meteor storm. Let's see where it's coming from. Right there. It doesn't look like anything's going to hit our base. Uh, just judging by the the uh, trajectories at this point, it looks like that it's just, it's all just going to overshoot, which is very good for us. But we'll check out check it out anyway, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, you guys are all overshooting. Can you imagine if one of these just course corrected and like smashed right into our base? <laughs> That'd be crazy. No, but that's all hitting mountains and such. So that's fine. Let them do it. Let them hit mountains. Pew, pew, pew. There's the sun. All right, so the, the progression, you're up here. You come down here. So this is kind of where the base is going to continue to move forward, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go four right here. And then we'll, we'll come out this way a little bit. 
And then this is where you're going to start coming down, maybe, with stairs. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have a stairway down right here. Stairway down right here. All right. So that's a nice little stairway down. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to, this is where our hangers are going to be. So your stairway is going to end there. Then if you go left, and maybe we'll do something like this. If you go left out this door, you'll reach hangar A. And this is where the hangar will be right here, starting there. That piece fell. Whoops. <laughs> All right, starting here, you're going to have, we'll go out three on each side. So it'll be a kind of a big hangar. Or not even a hanger. I keep saying hanger, but it's not really a hanger, is it? It's more of a, uh, just a pad. Three. One, two, three. Okay. This is a huge one, actually. Maybe the other one would be a little smaller on the other side. I didn't, I didn't think of how big this would be until before I made it. All right. Is that, that, that's not square is it yet yeah. no not quite we need three more blocks on either side so let's go ahead and one two three geez this one is huge this is big enough to land multiple ships on i think multiple small ships not like the one that we came in here on all right let's this is bothering me so let's go ahead and destroy this one right here and we're gonna place uh supports as well because this is a huge thing it would just look unnatural without supports i think so we're gonna place uh supports on the Side of this. All right, that's looking good, and we'll get a support on this side as well. There's one right there, and we don't really need one on this side. Uh, maybe we can fit one right there. All right, so we got supports for that one right there, and then we'll eventually what we'll do is we'll place another one kind of on this side as well. But we're we're gonna not even worry about that just quite yet. So like I said, I'll go through and do this off camera because look how much stuff we need to fill in. It's just gonna take forever, and I don't want to subject you guys through that. Do I still have more hydrogen in the bottle? Not really. Let's go and get more hydrogen in the bottle. Then we're going to go out and search for uranium. We're running on 23 minutes right now, so we're getting kind of near to where I want to end the episode. But but, uh, but I think we can go on a little bit longer just to see if we can find some uranium. And then next episode, when you come back, all this will be filled in. Hopefully, I'm probably going to run out of steel plates. So, uh, so hopefully, it'll all be filled in, but I can't promise. Let's go over here, and we're going to refill our iron or our, uh, our thingamajig. Put that in there. We're going to refill. Awesome. It's refilled. And let's go on our expedition. Let's make sure we don't have anything on us that we don't want to lose. Sweet. All good. And let's go find some uranium. Uh, this might be tough, but we're going to find it. Hopefully. Uh, where do we want to go? So we know we had a lot of stuff over there. Um, this is a bit too mountainous for me. We could go over there and check, but I think over there might be our best bet. So let's... Let's just travel in that general direction. We're going to go a little bit far to start. We're going to start over here in this little area. Oh, I'm going fast. I'm going really fast. I'm going really fast. I'm going really, really, really fast. Okay. Whew. I was going a bit too fast for my liking. Alrighty. So let's start looking. I hope some stuff appears on our bottom map. Unknown signal. All right. Technically, we have enough, we have enough uh, hydrogen that I can just fly to that and see what it is, but... Is that crashing actually? Let's go that way. Let's see. Let's see if we can see what that is. I, I kind of want to see it. I'm a bit afraid that it might shoot me. That totally just crashed. All right, let's go see what that is. I actually do wonder. I really hope it doesn't shoot me because I don't have my guns equipped or anything. Hello, Monsieur Unknown Signal. Are you friendly? What are you? What are you? Special content. Try your luck to get a new special special item. What? You did not find a special item. Try your luck elsewhere. Oh, that looks like it's going to explode. Oh, I don't like that. What? I don't know what that was. I've never seen that before. Hello? Okay, I'm not going near that. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that was because I've like maybe they've added stuff to the game and that's one of those. I don't know. It seemed like a spin to win kind of thing or something. Some weird thing. Let's get closer to base. 
Uh, maybe check down here as well. This, I like these areas of, of rock because it, it always makes me think that there's something underground, even though that's not necessarily what that means. But I don't know. It always makes me makes me imagine that there might be something. Uh, if we see any rocks, we'll stop by as well while we're flying. Um, I don't see any. Just big mountains. We're going a bit fast. Oh, let's stop under these as well. I like these dark areas as well, because typically that means that there's something under them. So far, yeah, it looks like there's iron under in this one. So let's mark this as iron, because this is probably a larger deposit of iron. So we'll mark this as uh, move from current position. Iron. All right. Uh, was that another thing? I thought I heard another thing pop up. Oh, well, let's go dig down a little bit, and because because we know uranium is underground, so let's just go straight down and see if we can maybe hopefully find some uranium somewhere. Hopefully, can we get lucky? Maybe not. I don't know. It's always possible though. You always find uranium when you least expect it. Like you're just going down for some iron, and then maybe it pops up on the side, and you're like, oh, there it is. And then you're set for a while. Because uranium comes in large deposits. And, uh, and and you don't really need that much of it, actually. What is this? Turn my light. What are we in? Is this rock? What the heck? Yeah, I guess that is. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. Dig straight towards that iron. Alright, here's the iron. Uh, I guess we can grab some of it on our expedition. We'll just bring it back to our base, and it'll be it'll be nice to have. Actually, we'll need it for all that steel plates that we're we're uh, making. But so what we'll do is we'll we'll grab the iron, we'll, we'll um, run back to our base, and if we find any uranium, we'll just drop all the iron and grab some of that instead. Or maybe not grab, maybe just grab a little bit of it. Iron, sweet iron. It's what we need to build still plates. All right, looks like we got quite a bit of it here, and it's it's just a it's a pain sometimes getting these uh, these rocks as well, but that's okay. They may have decreased the weight of iron, by the way, because I used to only be able to carry a little bit of it, but now it seems I can carry way more. I don't know. Grab a lot of this iron. Or maybe each big rock only gives you a little bit instead of what it used to. Uh, more iron right there. Alright. How much stone do we have compared to iron? We <laughs> it drops one giant stone. If I collect a lot of this stone, I can just deposit it as one giant stone. Like so. So that, that kind of reduces lag and or reduces a little bit of the amount of stone that we have rolling around. Which is pretty nice. All right, just grab a little bit more here, and then uh, and then we'll be all set. There we go. Grab a little bit of this iron, and I think we're good. I think that's all the iron that we have. Let's throw throw the rest of the stone out there. We got almost a full inventory of iron, which is really really good, because that'll allow us to build those steel plates that we need to complete our base. How far is our base? Our base is really far. So let's let's uh, and that's a huge patch of iron, by the way, since we're still seeing it. When we were running away, we'll fly low, and if we find some of that, some materials, we'll we'll stop by. But uh, but I'm not I'm not very hopeful for finding uranium, uh, just while flying like this. But it could happen. I've seen weirder things. Much weirder things. That, the weirdest thing I've seen is probably that <laughs> that probe that we just looked at, though. I don't know what that was. I have no clue. If you guys know, you play Space Engineers, and you know what that was, please tell me. Because I'm not entirely sure what, what we just happened upon. Alright, doesn't look like we're going to be finding any uranium here. Um, which is unfortunate. I might have to do some more exploring off camera. But, um, but if I find some, I'll definitely go back on camera and, and uh, show you that I found some. I'm not... Ice. Okay. I'm not just going to come back and be like, oh, by the way, uranium. Haha. -ha. Nah. Or we could build a big ship and just run around looking for uranium with a big ore detector. 
That's another possibility. This base looks kind of sexy, I think, in my opinion. All right, let's go back in here, and we'll throw our iron right into there. That's a lot of iron, by the way. That is quite a bit, and we shouldn't need any for a little while. Uh, but if we do, we have that rock that's a bit closer as well. So um, I think I'm going to end the episode right there. That's episode number five. And get prepared for episode number six, because hopefully in that episode, all of this will be figured out. Hopefully we will have found some uranium somewhere in the world, and we'll be making a ship. So it'll be pretty awesome. And a little ship is good, because it'll allow us to store stuff and fly around. But um, but making a little ship comes with a couple of, uh, a couple of challenges. Anyways, if you like the video, hit that like button. Put your comments down below and enter suggestions as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, guys, just started the recording again to tell you that we found uranium. It's right here, kind of close to our base, actually. It's just on this mountain right here. And I discovered something about the uranium as well, or about all ores in general. They've added this thing to, uh, to the ground where it's dark here. If, if there's an ore under it. So all you have to do is look for these dark areas. And that's how you know there's an ore under it. I did not know that. That makes it so much easier to find stuff. And uh, we finally found our uranium that we can use for next episode. So see you guys in the next one.